Hey, this is Luke. Welcome to Lower It Up Podcast. Powered by Basel D Magazine. We'll be interviewing local creators who work in and around the clock for the Prop Over season and beyond. Join us on this journey as we go behind the scenes of what makes Crop Over, Crop Over. Welcome to episode 14 of the Lower It Up podcast. Powered by Basadi Magazine. Recorded and produced by Robbie at Nameless. On this episode, episode 14, the final episode in the Lore It Up podcast series for season one, we talk to Megan. Hey! <laughs> and do a little catch up. And we also speak to Miss Donna Barker, Senior Health Promotion Officer in the Ministry of Health and Wellness, and discuss strategies for COVID and avoiding COVID this crop over season, as well as monkeypox. We hope you enjoy. Bazzity. Tonight we're here with Megan. Hey, what's up? What's up, what's up? I'm so excited. This is the last episode. Dropping in all at the end, but it's okay. Yeah. And also it's the last lap of Crop Over. That's right. So, Luke, this is all you. This is you. <laughs> like, you know, the last hundred meters. Yes. Running down this the track. This last sprint. That's last right. Last lap. You ready? Yeah, absolutely ready. That's good. I mean, like, I'm not doing as much events as you. Yeah, because I was about to ask, you know, <laughs> what are you doing? And are you uh, ready? I'm ready. I'm staying hydrated. Mm-hmm. Making sure I have my vitamins. That's right. Staying focused, but partying with my friends and also just enjoying what the meaning of the festival is. Yes, that's the most important part. <laughs> <laughs> I did also want to get back to you. You asked me two questions that uh, ran on my mind since the last episode. Okay. You asked me for my top three. Uh-huh. I told you Awaken uh-huh. and it was Le Jardin du Bel Air. And my Ooh. third one uh-huh. would have been Powder. 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 Okay. Top of the pops. So nice. Tell me why. It was good. It was just so good. I, I, I normally come to experience powder as this really euphoric experience it uh-huh. gives me a real drive it's a lot of people it's okay. a lot of pain they're great performances you know it's your wow. food and drink if you need it that's I usually good. meet up with friends I don't see see people that I don't see any other time of year and you know that's great because that event would have happened probably like three or four weeks ago that's right and it still resonates it with still you. resonates so it that's good. good lots of paint powder water yeah it was good I mm. enjoyed myself and it was well set up well located, good mm-hmm. parking. I could honestly Easy say for access. me, all the elevate events are good. Okay, yeah, you have. A good I point. love a good decor. Yeah. I love an ambiance. I love anything that makes me feel like it's a production. You know yeah. what I mean? So shout out to elevate and your all events and everything. But, yeah. I like um the way that brands are going now. Yeah. You know? They're taking a lot of energy to do decor. Because, you know, before you used to just get a party. And you get a party. And get a little lighting, a little smoke, little, Exactly. Little After that, go home. Because yeah. that's it. But now they're doing it's like a, a lot of work. It's a whole production. And the creativity is definitely taking a, a different level that I love. I think so, too, as well. Blended, we did a really nice production. Yeah, I saw Basil. We posted that today. Yeah. So that's good. It was amazing, really, and truly. Mm-hmm. And then there was also, too, um, you asked me for a word, a Bajan word. Yeah. I was saying Wasi. Wasi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, definitely that would be my. But for word. the people that don't understand what wasi mean, maybe the internationals that listen to the podcast, That's true. what does that mean? Wasi? It means getting on bad, you know, mm-hmm. having fun, you know, mm-hmm. just kind of being very wild and uninhibited and free. Mm. So yeah, that's what that word means to me. Mm, so. Lovely, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it really embodies the energy of the season, especially in the last lap. Yes, that, especially you know. for Kaduma Day. That, yeah, for Kaduma you know, Day, the, you let go of all mm-hmm. of you say your inhibitions and everything and what the festival means you know freedom yes freedom to be who we are as a people as Barbadians as African descent That's people right. you know so I love it Wasi yeah Wasi <laughs> <laughs> I think it comes out I can delve into that history you know there's a book I have on a dictionary on um, that too as well okay on okay. Caribbean words and I can delve into that and see because I'm pretty sure it has some African origins as well lovely so, yeah, we can mm-hmm. definitely get into that. I also wanted to touch, too, on our sponsors. Mm-hmm. Um, so, we had Doers, mm-hmm. who sponsored our Crop Over Calendar. Yes. And then also Grape Listen, Boost. I talk about that Crop Over Calendar yeah, so many times. Everybody. That is being shared everywhere, and it makes you feel like, okay, if I don't know where to go, let me just That's go to right. Basil D's calendar. That's exactly And see right. how much I could squeeze in, in in one week. So, thank you for that, Doers. Yeah, thank you for sponsoring <laughs> that, coming on board and seeing the vision and being like, yeah, I want to be part of that. Okay, nice. So, there's also Grey Goose Essences. Nice. They have come on board too as well alongside 
Bombay Bramble. Bombay. Bramble. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. so make sure we can get you a Bali Gregos essences because okay. there's new flavors. Okay. Different infused flavors. I'm excited about yeah, that. exactly. <laughs> That's good. And we might also do a giveaway too for our listeners as well. Okay. So guys you need to listen on and see what we if we offer you. That's right. We'll yeah. be bringing the Monty podcast and you know, making doing some giveaways and also some giveaways on our social media channels too as well. Fantastic. And we also have Mount Gay too, mm-hmm. who's coming on board as a sponsor. Mm-hmm. And they really wanted to encourage people to drive safely, drink mm-hmm. responsibly, mm-hmm. get your designated driver. Mm-hmm. Because all of us don't want to see any more accidents. Definitely. Especially, you know, last lap, people to be out to all. Everybody want to drink out the liver. Yeah. So we really want to encourage people to drink responsibly, mm-hmm. party safely, get a designated driver. Do not mm-hmm. drive drunk. Do not drive tired. It's a very important time of year. Mm-hmm. The season is very important to all of us. And we want to make sure everybody arrives alive. And speaking about drinking, I was listening in to the podcast with, you know, the health health and safety. And she was really talking about drinking and wearing a mask. And I really think that if you know you're going to drink and wear a mask, maybe you should drink a little less. That's right. Because, you know, you, you're not going to feel the same way. Yeah, So exactly. you definitely have to pay attention when you're out nowadays. Yeah, you sure. definitely should. Should pay attention, be yep. responsible, be responsible not just for yourself, but, but people in others. your community, yeah, others, yes. people on the road, people who may just want to be getting home to their families. Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. So I also wanted to touch on Soka Fridays that Basil Ooh. is sponsoring. I've never been. That sounds exciting. Yeah. And I love the fact that it's still going on after the festival. Yeah, exactly. So even after the festival ends on August 1st, that there'll still be events continuing down on Soka Fridays. Where is, is it? Where is it being held? It's going to be in Mount Gay Visitor Center. Okay. And that's going to be on August 5th. And that's very central. It's yes. Right there in Spring Garden Highway. So. It's great parking. Yeah. Very centrally located. Easy mm-hmm. to get to, easy to get home from. You know anybody that's performing? Okay, there's a real good lineup, an all star lineup. Nice. There's Sugary, mm-hmm. there's Lady Essence, Mole, Bruce Lee Almighty, Lil Rick, what? Peter Ram, what? Summer, and a whole host of DJs. So only $20, For right? Only $20. Shoot. I actually missed up one lead pipe too, as well. Wow. So like $20, and you get all of them like. $20 to see Lil Rick. In a central location. See, exactly. Great parking. This is good. It's, I think it's that fantastic. That means you need to get there early then. Exactly. Because it starts at 8 p.m. Okay. So you can get there early. There are great DJs as well, too. Mm-hmm. I saw AON Skills. I saw Versi Well. Mali and Mali and Scott. Scott. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. All right, on the 5th of August. Well, you know, this is the last lap. And we would have never thought two years ago that we'd be here saying no experiencing so crop over so, so first of all we need to be thankful that we get to enjoy mm-hmm. the festival is there anything that you're looking forward to for the next few days oh my gosh there's so much I'm really looking forward to the Linden Grove Foundations event yes me as fat gotta be mass. yeah that's right me as <laughs> fat so I'm looking forward a lot to that also that's the only one I really want to touch on because there are people going to start to say right <laughs> I'm actually <laughs> say, oh, looking you, forward you, exactly you can tell me what you're looking forward I'm to I'm looking forward to seeing the beautiful costumes yeah. as a oh, model yeah as a model a creative i did not get to see the costumes in person at band launch and our first time seeing costumes mm. on the, would be on the road on the road that's true so I am excited to see how the ladies are going to carry themselves on the road how the route is going to be yeah the new route is what yes. I'm looking forward to yeah. I am excited to see how we take the festival after Kaduman Day and like prolong it a little bit more yeah. I am just excited to see Barbadians celebrating our culture yeah absolutely me too same 100% 100% I'm very 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 excited see that yeah. in your row as well because everybody yeah. see the video come on they're yeah. like oh my god it's yeah. so long <laughs> no, I'm like, no, 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 no. This looks pretty good. I'm, yes. I'm down for that. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, remember, drink responsibly. Oh, that's right. Take your water, wear your mask, socially distance, take your vitamins. Mm-hmm. You know, this is a different time now that we are having a festival. And so I want you to protect yourselves as much as possible. Yeah. Remain safe. Remember, mm-hmm. don't drive drunk. Don't drive tired. Yeah. Make sure you have your designated driver. And just be very safe during the festival. We want everybody to arrive alive, arrive safely, whether mm-hmm. it's going to the event, going to another event, going home from an event. We want everybody to have the most safe and enjoyable crop over possible. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you on season two of Lord It Up. Yeah. Welcome to Lord It Up podcast with Basil D. Magazine. Tonight on Lord It Up, 
We're here with a very special episode. We're here with Miss Donna Barker, Senior Health Promotion Officer in the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Welcome, Miss Barker. Thank you for having me. Yes, <laughs> thank you for joining us. So we're here to talk about COVID prevention tips. We're here to talk about encouraging people to make the right decisions and observe their personal responsibility across crop over. Yeah, it's, it's very important. We know crop over is a time when people want to get out and enjoy themselves. You want be free, see people that you haven't seen for a long time, right. people party, jumping, dancing, drinking, eating, everything fun. Mm -hmm. But at this time, we can't forget about coronavirus. It is not gone anywhere. Right. It's still with us. Uh, so we have to do things to still take personal responsibility. We realize that recently the numbers have been rising. The, wow. the number of cases reported per day have been going up in the 300s, the 400s, the 200s, and so on. Just the other day, they were in double digits. Right, exactly. Going back up now to triple digits. So we have to be very careful because around this time, especially during this weekend, there's going to be a lot of getting together. Yeah, and we things. want to yeah. remember that there are persons that cannot really help themselves, like the elderly who are at home. They're not really going out. But as younger people go out and enjoy themselves, remember that you may be going home to someone at home who is elderly, who needs to be protected. So if you protect yourself, you will protect others. Because if you protect yourself from getting COVID, then you protect others who are at home and who are in your close bubble. Hence the we thing. Right, yes. I protect right. you, you protect me, we protect we families. Yeah. Spread this message and not the virus. That's right. So that's what we want to do. Encourage people to, you know, follow their personal responsibility. Yeah. Be more cognizant of themselves and cognizant and not just themselves, but people in their close friends group, close family group. And make sure Correct. that they don't take home anything to anybody else who may not have as robust immune system. Yes. Yeah, who may be faced with comorbidities, who may be dealing with underlying issues sometimes. Other young people that they may not know that they have these comorbidities and be affected mm -hmm. by. Yes, a lot of our elderly persons have conditions like diabetes, mm -hmm. hypertension, heart disease, mm -hmm. cancer, a, a lot of different things that can put them at risk for becoming severely ill or dying if they get COVID. Mm -hmm. Some of us younger people have those diseases as well, but you mostly see them as people get older. And so therefore, our persons with compromised immune system, cancer, persons who may have HIV, all those kind of things, they're more at risk for becoming severely ill or dying if they get COVID. And we are seeing our elderly dying persons in the, the 70s and the 80s and the 90s age group. Right. So we have to be mindful of them and do whatever we can during this season. Yeah. People go out, they drink. They don't think about COVID. They don't think about these type of things because you you want to have fun outside. You want to go outside and be with your friends. It's been mm -hmm. two years since the last crop over, especially in the last oh, yes. lap and all mm -hmm. the events and seeing people you haven't seen and listening to live performances and going to events and drinking and having fun. And of course, you cannot wear your mask all the time when you're eating and drinking. Right. You know, you, you're eating and you're drinking you're not going to wear your mask some people mm. just enjoy that you gotta take off this mask yeah yeah let me get a drink quick yeah. so you can take off this mask you, <laughs> you go indoors and uh, you have to wear your mask mm -hmm. indoors you can't take off the mask if you're outdoors but indoors you have to wear your mask so let me get a drink yeah you yeah, know freedom who can blame people exactly. for wanting to have a drink and eat something to get the mask off but just be mindful when you're not eating and drinking try to put your mask back on when you are around person Persons that you really don't know at all. You know, you try and have a conversation at yeah. a distance. Right, exactly. Try and keep a little distance. And whenever you can, you know, you sanitize as you're going. Well, I'm sure people were re reminded of that. Sanitize as you're going. Sanitize when you're coming out, mm -hmm. when you're getting back in your car. If you have to go and use the bathroom or touch things around, sanitize. The ideal situation is to use soap and water mm -hmm. and wash your hands. But if you cannot get to that, you have to sanitize. So 
I advise people walk around with a little sanitizer yeah. in your bag, your whatever, your purse or somewhere near so that you can actually have that that advantage, you know? So uh, it's important to do all those things. A sanitizer on the go. There was a little ones that instead of forgiving out, that really useful. As you say, you can sanitize and you go, mm-hmm. you touch somebody, you shake their hand, you give them a hug, you sanitize, sanitize. as you go. Yeah. yeah. It's very, very important. And of course, again, mask wearing, making yes. sure when you're not eating and drinking that you're still wearing a mask. Constantly seeing large crowds of people not wearing masks and not eating or drinking but you know so we want to encourage people to just be mindful still still follow personal responsibilities because it may not be you it may be your I say your aunt that you bring home something to your grandmother Mm -hmm. elderly neighbor something like that nobody wants to have that on their conscience no and even when you're drinking we know around these times we like to enjoy the alcohol Mm -hmm. so be mindful of that yes because when you drink more than your system can can handle and that will be harmful use of alcohol then you're not you're not aware of what you're doing so you're not going to think about when to put on my mask when to distance right. when to sanitize all that goes through the window right so we're asking people to drink responsibly, you know, just yeah. be very careful when you are going out. Of course, you don't want to drink and drive. Either. Right, exactly. <laughs> right. I was, was going to touch on that. You're very right. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't want people to. So across the board, just responsible drinking, personal responsibility, not getting, you know, you're going to go in the fat and get blind drunk. Yeah. You can't blame anybody for wanting to drink or two, but the more inebriated you are, the more likely you are to make more reckless decisions. And that includes moving around moving into strangers and not wearing a mask and touching them and all that type of stuff yes 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 anything you can do protect yourself protect your loved ones and if each person plays their part we can handle this yeah you know? we can see a massive reduction in numbers mm-hmm. it doesn't need to be a large spike next week because um everybody went out and just wasn't following the protocols not following the rules not observing that they have a role to play that there's a level of personal responsibility with them so we don't have to see a large spike in numbers no. next week we can still have it even have numbers decline once everybody still hoping exactly hoping. fingers crossed that there's no big spike next week whatsoever Mm-hmm. And there also is a message that the Ministry of Health and Wellness is pushing out. It's a we thing. I protect you. You protect mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. We protect each other. Yeah, yeah. I protect you. You protect me. We protect we family. Think mm-hmm. about those persons at home. You know, spread this message, not the virus. We don't want to spread the virus. Mm-hmm. You know, we are happy that a lot of influencers, a lot of entertainers mm-hmm. and social media influencers and mm-hmm. so on around this time actually partnered with the ministry and took the responsibility to produce these messages and share them on their social media sites and we shared them and you know it was really encouraging to see mm-hmm. persons coming on board and wanting to help spread a positive message mm-hmm. this we thing message and you know the Ministry of Health and Wellness is very happy to see that person just took it and just ran with it mm-hmm. So we are hoping that this message really continues during the season and persons think about protecting their families. Yeah, Yeah, that you remain in your bubble, you know, you come Mm -hmm. with your set group of friends that you don't have to go, you're going to knock about the boat like a wild dog. No, right. So with every friend's group, you want to dance with this body, you want to do this with this body. You just stay in your group. You consider your personal responsibility and that that your actions have an effect on other people. Yeah, and then you feel good when you come home at the end of the night. You don't have to be thinking right. feeling guilty. (laughs) what did I do I can't remember you don't know what happened when you woke up because you had so much alcohol you know so all of those things yeah you want to be mindful of right and they all play a part and everybody has their own part to play and that we don't need to see necessarily see a spike in numbers if everybody plays their part properly yes definitely I also want to touch too on you know there's some concern and anxiety around monkeypox Mm-hmm. So I want to touch on the information around monkeypox that the Ministry of Health and Wellness has and what they would like to say to the public, because I know people have a lot of fear. There's a lot of yeah. fear mongering going around. Well, what I can say about monkeypox is, well, you would know we have identified one case, one case in Barbados so far and that was someone who came into the island mm. you know because it was seen you know a lot in Europe mm. and it's spreading now so it is now a public health concern yeah. so people want to know more about monkeypox and how this monkeypox is spread now we know it is a disease which it has a lot of symptoms but 
the ugly symptom that everybody is yeah. afraid of yep. is the pox on your pox, skin. Exactly. Right? It's also mm-hmm. painful and so on. <laughs> but monkeypox, it can be spread from person to person through direct contact with infectious rash scabs or body fluids, mm-hmm. right? Respiratory secretions as well during prolonged face-to-face contact, during intimate physical contact, mm-hmm. such as kissing, cuddling, um, sexual activity, touching items that a person who's infected previously touched, that kind of thing. Pregnant women can also spread monkeypox to their fetus through the placenta, right? So we don't know that there are any more cases here. We only have one case so far, and we expect that if anything comes into the island, it will be coming, you know, through someone who has traveled from one of the other countries who had monkeypox. How can people protect themselves from getting monkeypox? It's a virus, so hygiene again, hygiene mm-hmm. again. Avoid contact with any person that you see with a rash because you don't know what you it is. Exactly. It may not be monkeypox, but you don't know what it is. Avoid um, contact with objects that have been in contact with sick persons. Mm-hmm. Um, and then again, if you know that somebody has monkeypox, right. then you can wear a mask if you have to go around them. Mm-hmm. You know, you wash your hands often and so on. But it is not like COVID. Right. It's not caught as easily as COVID. So it's not the same thing. Right, it doesn't face the same concerns. No. Mm-hmm. You have to, as you say, close proximity contact, close intimate contact that normally spreads the virus. Monkey yeah, pox. if you know that a person has monkeypox, mm-hmm. you know. So we want to continue the same way how we are encouraging persons to practice good hygiene to try and avoid COVID. You continue to practice good hygiene. We're seeing all these diseases coming up. So mm-hmm. continue to wash your hands. Yeah. Continue to you don't when you go places you don't have to touch up everything. That's I right. watch people sometimes yeah. going in the say the cafeteria mm. and they lean on the bars, they touch the bars. You, you sometimes you're not mindful of that, and someone else has just touched that. That person may have touched their face, yes, right? May have wiped the eye, wiped the um, nose, anything but touched like that, their yeah. nose and so on. And then they put their hands on that and then you come along and you put your hands on it too. Keep your hands in your pockets yeah. sometimes. <laughs> or just, you know, you just come at the counter and you order what you want and avoid touching the counters the and counter the bars. And yeah. All of those kind of things. And this is for any disease that is circulating mm. that we know about. Just be mindful of hygiene, mm. your hygiene, touching things, wash your hands often. Of course, cover your nose and mouth if you have to sneeze and cough and all of those kind of things help to, to protect our health. Yeah, because as you said, people go to the bar scene or at breakfast events and you using the table, you're touching the table, you rest on your stuff, you put putting all your stuff on the table, mm-hmm. the table's not been sanitized or you have to come to the bar, you lean up on the bar, you elbows and your hands all over the bar, but you're not cognizant of, well, somebody may have been here before. Right. They may have used it, bar counter hasn't been sanitized. I don't know what's going on here, but people just, you know, think it's completely fine and don't keep any of these thoughts in their no, head. No. This is a time now for trying to keep your hands to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Try to keep your hands clean and keep your hands to yourself. As you yeah. say, constantly washing your hands or sanitizing mm-hmm. and making sure your friends sanitize and everybody yeah. stays within there. You know, you come with a group of friends, you stay in there. You don't got to go and not go all over the party. You don't got to go and get well and blind drunk. You just got to come, enjoy yourself. Yeah. Keep as safe and clean as possible and go back home. And if you see a friend who doesn't have sanitizer and you watch a person and you are mindful and you realize this person just all over the place, their hands mm. all over the place, they're, they're not sure, sure, you know, what they're doing. They might be a little tipsy. <laughs> offer them some sanitizer. Exactly. You know, if you have sanitizer, offer them some sanitizer because, you know, again, I protect you, you protect I mean, me, yeah. we protect our families. That's true. It's a we thing. It's a we, yeah. So... We want to do all of that. We want to be, as you say, your brother's keeper, you know, look out mm-hmm. for one another because it is, in as much as a personal responsibility, it's still community responsibility for everybody to look out for one another and make sure that they take care of each other because yeah. you don't know if they might end up getting something and taking it home to their family, that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. So we want to make sure everybody 
is as safe as possible. Yeah, and there's nothing saying that you cannot have fun and be responsible at mm-hmm. the same time. Your mind is more at ease when you you know you're you're doing the right thing. You're helping to protect others. You feel comfortable and enjoy yourself. Yeah, that's exactly. That's the most important thing. So tell me where people could find more information on social media. The ministry has a Facebook page, mm-hmm. um, moh dot Barbados and Instagram moh Barbados. We also share almost all of our information with the government uh, information service, the GIS. So you can look. Once we have health information, we share it with GIS as well. So you can see that information there. Once we have new information coming up, it will pop up on GIS as well as our our Facebook and Instagram pages. Yeah, because I think y'all released some information on monkeypox. Cause I had but we are going to... Yeah, we had released... A, mm. A fact that's, sheet. Right, a fact sheet, that's right. Right, and as time goes on, you know, we will be releasing more information and we'll be giving updates if there are any updates to mm-hmm. be given. You know, we will continue to try and keep the public informed. As much as mm-hmm. possible, as yeah. As much as possible to help protect us. I like that. I like to continue the constant communication so people can know what's going on, give them the information and equip them how best they could protect themselves. Yeah. And protect their families, protect their communities and give them good, strong information that they could work with so they don't see all the fear mongering online. Like they have a steady, tried and true tested source that they could go to and say, I could go to the Ministry of Health and Wellness on Instagram and they could find all the information. Mm-hmm. That's MOHW Barbados on Instagram. MOH. M-O-H. M-O-H, okay. yeah, M-O-H Barbados. Barbados on yeah. Instagram. And Facebook is M-O-H dot Barbados. Okay. Instagram is M-O-H Barbados. And G-I-S is G-I-S Barbados on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. It's Donna Barker. It was a pleasure being here. Mm-hmm. Thanks <laughs> for having me. <laughs> yes. Uh, we'll see you again. And then, that you, as we say, that we see a decline in cases next year and we don't see some massive spike and. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, at least not a massive spike. Right, we know yeah. we might get some cases because we have a lot of events, a but lot. we hope not to have such a large numbers. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. So yeah, definitely. Until next time then. Okay, thank you. Right. Thank you for listening to our podcast. This episode was recorded and produced by Robbie at Nameless Production.